Digital and the government of Antigua and Barbuda have collaborated on a closed-circuit television project that will result in the installation of CCTV cameras in strategic points across St. John's. This multi-million dollar project involves high-tech 24-hour monitoring that will allow for rapid responses by the police and other security forces. The government of Antigua approximately a year ago approached Digicel about the possibility of implementing a CCTV surveillance system for the city of St. John's. This was predicated on the fact that with the large number of cruise ship arrivals, the steadily growing an increasing number of persons in St. John's and the importance of tourism to the local economy. It was therefore necessary that such a surveillance system was required to aid as a deterrent and to assist the police in their crime-fighting efforts, ultimately ensuring that St. John's is a safer and more enjoyable destination. And we were able to give the government a solution which they thought could be implemented in a very short space of time and was affordable. CCTV has proven itself to be a valuable commodity within the fight against crime. The technology has been evolving at a significant pace with wireless networks of cameras and sensors helping officers respond more quickly to incidents. Digicel has procured the services of Security Centers International Limited, a leading security and life safety advisory and delivery firm based in the Caribbean. Uh, well, basically, Digicel uh, partnering with two other companies, Security Centre International and Avrio RMS Group, are putting together a solution for Antigua and initially primarily for St. John's, whereby we're going to um, design a network and this will provide um, um, complete cover of the St. John's area so that the uh, security service will be able to mo monitor all traffic coming in, going out and all activities. So we're partnering with two companies, one Avrio RMS which is an experienced um, CCTV provider from uh, the US, they have worked with the FBI, they've worked with uh, Homeland Security, they've rolled out CCTV systems in cities as large as Chicago, um, so quite quite experienced and also Security Centres International who have uh, a Caribbean based company uh, owned and operated in the Caribbean and they have successfully deployed similar networks both in the Bahamas and in the Cayman Islands so have experience of um, operating in small islands, have experience of operating in the environmental conditions such as the, um, the sea, the salt that uh, is the Caribbean. So we have a, a team brought together with a lot of experience, a lot of expertise and we've put together a, a world class solution that we're very very excited about deploying here in Antigua. Under the agreement, cameras will be strategically deployed in key locations, beginning with the bustling city of St. John's. There will be active monitoring of the video feed by the police force from a central command center. In the event of criminal activity being observed on a camera, the CCTV operator can quickly direct police response to the incident. It consists of 110 cameras. It also consists of a command center where um, all the video um, will be fed back to. Um, at the moment, this is likely to be the uh, Parliament building. And this command center will be um, fully staffed and monitored by the police. Um, it is not something that Digicel is involved with, the monitoring whatsoever. That is purely the purview of um, the Ministry of National Security and whoever they, they decide. But this is going to be done from there and it's going to be a 24 by 7 surveillance system. Um, the thought is that this should surely assist the government and the police with um, the rising level of crime and incidents that we've had over the last few months. The installation of the CCTV cameras is part of the government's pledge to provide the men and women of the security forces not only with modern equipment but with the latest in crime fighting techniques. The Ministry of National Security is headed by Dr. Honorable Errol Court. As part of our crime fighting strategy, we recognize the need to embark upon a CCTV project here in Antigua and hopefully in Barbuda. And what we did in terms of the Ministry of National Security, we um, asked the business community to partner with us in terms of making the CCTV program a reality. 
So we had meetings with various interested uh, business partners and ultimately Digicel came to the table and uh, made a proposal to the ministry that looked very, very interesting. We have been working with Digicel over the past several months to make this CCTV program a reality. And I'm pleased that we are now coming to the climax of that relationship where the CCTV program will in fact be a reality here in Antigua and Barbuda. Closed circuit television has been an effective tool in addressing the fear of crime and it is hoped will play a key role in helping to attract new businesses to St. John's. As the project grows, government intends to place CCTV cameras at other strategic locations across the state. The system that has been put in place it is expandable and um, we can see that the government in years to come could decide to expand this solution outside the environs of St. John City. The comprehensive CCTV project is designed to assist in prevention and detection of crime and aims to provide evidence to relevant enforcement agencies, maintain public order, prevent antisocial behavior and nuisance, provide reassurance and promote economic well-being. <laughs>